President William Ruto today signed the Supplementary Appropriation Bill into law at State House Nairobi. The bill, which seeks to, pre to revise budget allocations, was passed with a number of amendments by the National Assembly last week on Wednesday, July 31st, and then presented to the President for assent by Speaker Moses Wetangula. The Supplementary Appropriation Bill passed last week aims to adjust budget allocations for the three branches of government to tackle the 344 billion Kenya shillings revenue deficit caused by the rejection of the Finance Bill 2024. State House and the Office of the Deputy President faces a loss of 6 billion Kenya shillings, with the Treasury facing a significant reduction of 7 billion Kenya shillings. Despite the fiscal constraints, the new law safeguards key critical expenditures, including agriculture, which has a 20 billion Kenya shillings reserve to aid farmers in boosting production and productivity. The allocation will cater for the fertilizer subsidy, the coffee cherry fund, and to clear coffee farmers' debts, purchasing milk coolers, milk price stabilization, and supporting sugar farmers will also be actualized. In the health sector, 16.2 billion Kenya shillings have been allocated to support reforms and enhance universal health coverage. This will include funding community health volunteers' allowances and equipment, the medical internship program, and 4 billion Kenya shillings each for the primary health care fund and contracted services. The education sector will receive 120.7 billion Kenya shillings to support reforms. This includes 18.7 billion for confirming junior secondary school interns, 30.7 billion for student capitation, 17 billion for university scholarships, and 31.3 billion Kenya shillings for higher education loans. The total reduction for the national government stands at 145.7 billion Kenya shillings, consisting of 40 billion for recurrent expenditure and 105 billion Kenya shillings in development expenditure. Victor Washira, KUTV.